Hi guys. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the Collection 2000 liquid liner pens. Now I bought one from MAC. Um, their liner, I can't, can't remember what it was called, but it was expensive. It was over £10 um, just for a liner and I found, and I got the black one. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, this makeup bag as well by the way. I got it from H&M. Um, it's a really pretty Hello Kitty one. They do um, really nice makeup bags there, and I have so much in it. So I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I do find I need to do um, a clear out of my makeup bag because I have stuff stuff in it that um, I don't wear anymore, or that needs to be thrown away. It's, it's quite amazing. drawer that has all my eyeliners in, all my glitter liners. Okay. So it's by MAC and it is Penultimate Eyeliner in Rapid Black. Um, and it's like that and it is it is a really fine um, nib I will say because it's not a brush. Um, it's like the felt lit but it, it didn't last that long at all. And for the amount I paid for it, I can't remember how much it is, but I'll have a look on the website and link it in the bottom. But how much I paid for it, it wasn't worth it. Um, but you, I think you have to try try something once, don't work out, you do it by that again. So the Collection 2000 eyeliners, I think, are 2 99 each, or 3 99 But they normally have an offer on where it's 3 for 2. So um, you can get 3 eyeliners for the price of 2. Um, so these are what they look like. They're pretty much exactly the same design. Um, the nib's a bit thicker, but you still get a really sharp line. This is, I think it's, this one's a black one. No, this is blue. Okay. So you can see this, it's this this big line here. You can get some really nice lines. Another thing I'll say is these are 24 hour. 24 hour felt tip liner. Now, the black one I, with eye makeup remover I could get off, but the blue one I couldn't get off and it left me sort of looking like I had black eyes. But once um, I took all my makeup off, I went to bed, found it didn't come off, but the next morning it all came off. So it does last, it does last. Um, the black one. Um, I use black the most, so I bought two black, and I normally use like one on each eye, just to keep. Well, that's the black, but you can do um, quite fine lines with them. But I I prefer pens to brushes because I just find them so much easier. So it says Extreme Collection 2000. Um, and the end is normally coloured, you won't be able to see now, but and it also has the colour name written there, which is black. Uh, I have the purple one as well. I don't know if you can see the difference, you probably can actually. In them, maybe. Blue, black and purple. Okay, so the purple one, because I have blue eyes, I just wanted to... Um, my hand's probably not the best thing because my skin is really dry, but purple. And then another black. So these are like 2 99 and they do last um, a lot longer than the MAC liners I found. Um, I bought these myself. I got them from Boots. You can, uh, Super Dug do Collection 2000, but I know that at Boots they always have the 3 for 2 offer on the Collection 2000 products. Okay, so I have this little pot that is also from H&M and um, that I keep foundation brushes in and I have found, this is probably just like common sense, but I would always um, have my eyeliners laying down in a drawer or in my makeup bag and I find if you have them nibbed down in the pot it makes the ink that's in them sort of stay at the end, whereas if they're th this way or on a side, they dry out a lot quicker because the ink's not being forced down to the nib. 
so I have found that storing them like this with them head down and then you can see also see what colours are there as well so I have them in there I normally keep them all them in there with my makeup brushes um, this one's from e.l.f. this is foundation one this one is silk pro and I think this one is one that I got from Asda I think it's really nice synthetic brush but yeah if you keep them stored like that they don't dry out as quick and they'll last a lot longer because the ink's fresh and it's always being pushed to the bottom um, so I would recommend them to anyone who finds it easier using a pen because I think it's easier to get a straight line like I've used them now I have been asleep so it might have run the only thing that um, I don't like about them is that when I do it near the corner um, after I let them blink a bit it sort of prints on the bottom of the inner corner of my eye I get a black bit that sort of and I have to use a cotton bud just to get rid of it but I find throughout the day because that's sort of an area of your, my eye anyway that waters a bit more um, it does print these aren't waterproof I don't think no they're not waterproof but um, they do last really well and you do get that black black colour and the strong purple and blues they do go on really strong I think they maybe do a green as well like a turquoise green or teal green um, I saw them I saw them for an, in an advert for a magazine where they had a matching mascara and something else I think with them that was like the same colour so they're purple mascara with the purple liner and black mascara with the black liner so it's extreme 24 hour felt tip liner by collection 2000 and they are so much cheaper than the MAC so if you use the um, MAC felt liner it's really expensive and uh, I think if you just try the collection 2001 and see what you think I just will say again it does last 24 hours so when you take it off and it, if it's, you sort of still have um, it on your skin but it's not like visibly there you, you can just faintly see that it's um, still dark don't panic about it because it will just come off the next day because um, that was one thing I did panic about thinking I was going to have black eyes <laughs> For a while but it does come off so um, I hope this can help anyone who's looking for a good felt liner again it's collection 2000 and I did buy these myself and they're 2 99 or 3 99 which is still really cheap considering the MAC one is quite expensive and I didn't think the MAC one lasted as long as these do and also just remember when storing them to have um, the actual head of the liner facing down so the ink is drawn to the bottom. Um, this Hello Kitty cup was from H&M as I've said before and it was only a few few quid which um, I thought was really good and it's something that's good to just store your brushes in really because it's quite tall and it's plastic it's not going to smash. So I hope this helps and I hope to be doing more reviews soon. Bye!